day for today's video, lesson 5.1. Our guided notes are focused on percent increase and decrease. Our essential question is how do you use percents to describe change? We have two vocabulary terms for today's video. Percent increase, which describes how much a quantity increases in comparison to the original amount. And likewise, we have percent decrease, which describes how much a quantity decreases in comparison to the original amount. To find such percent increase or decrease, we have a formula that we use to find the percent change. And that is the amount, I'm going to abbreviate AMT, for the amount of change amount of change divided by the original amount sorry if we can't read it but I will rewrite this or rephrase this to find the percent change you take the amount of change divided by, that's what this line here means, divided by the original amount. So let's you put this into action with our first example. Alyssa got a raise, and her hourly raise was increased from $8 to $9.50. What is the percent increase in Alyssa's hourly wage? So, Using this formula, we first need to find the amount of change. So from $8 to $9.50, our amount of change is $1. It would help if Mrs. Reister could write $1.50. And I'm going to divide that by the original amount, which in this problem is $8. So I'm going to take 1.5 divided by 8. And on my calculator, this is what I get. 1.87 and then it goes on. So as a percent, this is 19% because I would round that 0.1 7 to 0.19 and a percent is always out of a hundred so since that's 19 hundredths it becomes 19 percent. Now what I'd like you to do is try this problem right here and then we will go through this together. The price of a pair of shoes increases by $52 to $64. What is the percent increase to the nearest percent. Again, we have to start by finding that amount of change. So from $52 to $64, the amount of change here is 12. And I'm going to divide that by the original amount, which is $52. So 12 divided by 52 ends up being 0 0.230, which as a percent is 23%. So we would say the shoes increased by 23%. Now we're going to find a percent de decrease. And the same formula follows finding a percent decrease. It's just a matter of um, the scenario in which the percent is applied. So let's look at example two. David moved from a house that is 89 miles away from his workplace to a house that is 51 miles away from his workplace. What is the percent decrease in the distance from his home to his workplace? So to start, we need to find that amount of change, which is 89 minus 51, which is 38. And then I'm gonna take my 38 and divide that 
by 89, which is the original amount. And when I divide that, I get 0.426. So as a percent, I'm going to round that up to 43%. And in this case, it's a 43% decrease in the amount of miles David is traveling. All right, now for example three, we're going to look at how we can use these percent increases or decreases to find out other information about a problem. The grizzly bear population in Yellowstone National Park in 1970, see if you can spot my typo, was about 270. Over the next 35 years, it, is, it increased by about 115% what was the population in 2005. So we have to use this amount of, or we have to use this percent increase right here, this information that we're given about the 115 percent. We need to use that. So ultimately, I want to know, well, what is 115 percent of 270? Because it increased by that much. So when I say that out loud, I want to know what 115% of 270 is. So when I think about this, I know that the word of means to multiply. So I'm going to have to take something times 270. Well, I can't use a percent. I need to turn this percent into a decimal. So 115% as a decimal is 1.15 because it's over 100%. And 100% as a decimal is the whole number 1. So 1 1.15 times 270 is going to tell me how many bears it increased by. So when I take 1.15 times 270... I get 310.5 and you really can't have half a bear and you don't want to lie and say that there was a half a bear that there that wasn't so we're gonna round down actually in this case being realistic so really it increased by 310 bears but we want to find the new amount so we have to add in how many bears there were already so we're going to add in the 270, which equals 580 bears. Now what I'd like you to do on the back side of this, try the three problems for the your turn on your own. Remember what the expectation is, it's that you try this, you try your best, um, and if you have any questions, we will clarify them tomorrow in class.